Wow, wow, wow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory be to Jesus. Wow. It's always a joy and a privilege to come your way. My name is Reverend L.D. Bright, uh, the host for Blissful Word. Tonight, you are watching Blissful Word, and I trust that the Lord has a word for you. Um, I know that with God, all things are possible. So you share the link with someone. Stay with me. Grab your Bible. Grab your notebook. And let's uh, study something out of God's word. Hallelujah. This evening, I'm privileged to have my son here with me. Hi. <laughs> Hi, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. From morning, he's been telling me, Daddy, I want to minister God's word with you. I want to sit close to you so that I minister God's word. So, Nana, say hello to our people. Hi. Hi, guys. Good, 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 nice good. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. So, um... Uh, nice to meet you too. Nice to have you uh, on Blissful Word tonight. God bless you, son. God bless you. So, on a more serious note, can we uh, close our eyes and then we share a word of prayer. Spirit of the living God, we thank you for tonight. We give you all the glory. We thank you because you are God. Abba Father, tonight we commit ourselves into your hands. Spirit of God, have your way. As we are about to commune with your word, we pray that uh, your word is already anointed. I pray that, Lord, you grant me utterance. I pray that you speak to me and speak through me in the mighty name of Jesus. That at the end, I pray for as many that are watching right now and those that will even watch later. I pray that, Lord, let the blessing that is found in your word affect their lives positively. Lord, I thank you. I give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Okay, okay, okay. So, as I was saying, uh, I'm sure today is the 28th of August 2022. And then uh, less than three days, or let's say about three days, God will usher us into the month of September. Hallelujah. And I trust that the month of September is going to be a great month. Now, in this month of August, the Spirit of the Lord led me to uh, 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 theme this month, uh, the, the month of open heavens, open heavens. And I trust that in the month of August, God has opened the heavens unto us. I know that when the heavens open, a lot of blessings are poured down into our lives. My prayer for you is that as we live under the open heavens of God, may the Spirit of God touch you. May He catapult you to the next level of glory in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that anything that your hand finds to do, may it prosper in the name of Jesus. Any step that you want to take, may the glory and the power of God come upon you as never before. That you will take that step in the name of Jesus. And at the end of the day, success will be your portion. Magu valado brother. Yes, tonight... Just like as I was saying, I have a word for you, a word in season, and I trust that it will bless your life, uh, it will impact your life, and I know that your life will never be the same. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight, the title of my message is, It's Time to Move On. It's Time to Move On. It's Time to Move On. And I would like you to take our test from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 1, the book of Deuteronomy chapter 1, my God, Ligo do Shaprahalines, Vere de Gevido Skubrahalado Shepraha. Thank you, Jesus. The book of Deuteronomy, Mizoro do Shepahaladas. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Okay, we have it here. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 1, I'm reading from verse 5 to 8. The title of my mercy tonight is Time to Move On. It's Time to Move On. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Okay. So I'm reading the book of Deuteronomy chapter 1. I'm reading from the verse 5. Beyond the Jordan, in the land of Moab, Moses undertook to explain this law, saying, verse 6, The Lord our God said to us, in Horeb, you have stayed long enough at this mountain. Verse 7. 
turn and take your journey and go to the hill country of the Amorites and to all their neighbors in the Arabah, in the hill country and in the low land and in the Negev and by the sea coast, the land of the Canaanites and Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Ephrates, verse 8, see, watch this, see, I have set the land before you, go in and take possession of the land that the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give to them and to their offspring after them. Hallelujah. Oh God. I want to. Okay. Before I read the next scripture. Now I want us to understand. Lay uh, emphasis on. You have stayed on this mountain for far too long. Hallelujah. Now I was saying that it's time to move on. The first point I want to lay over here is that. Life is a journey. And just like the Israelites journeyed from the land of Egypt to the promised land where God predestined them to be. Now, life is a journey. Now, in the journey of life, there will be crossroads. Um, there will be uh, uh, mountains that you need to climb. There will be hills that you need to go over. There will be challenges. I mean, a lot of things will come your way. Uh, um, you, you lose, you might lose a loved one, or you might lose uh, money, you might lose your business, or a lot of things will come your way. But child of God, tonight I'm here in the volumes of the book, Meligi Divi Kosha. I am here with the word of God in my mouth, and I'm telling you that no matter the challenge, the circumstances that come your way, the negativity that you encounter, it's time for you to move on. I don't know who this word is, but I have a prophetic word for you tonight, that it's time for you to move on. Many a times when negative or bad things happen to us, or when we lose money, or lose a loved one, or we lose contract or we, we don't get what we are asking or, or uh, what we are looking for. We tend to throw in the towel. We tend to stagnate. We tend to stay at one place. We, we, we don't find the enthusiasm. We don't find the strength, the tenacity to move on. But child of God, this evening, God sent me to tell you that no matter what you have been through, wherever you find yourself right now, it's time to move on. The marriage can break. Uh, 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 you can lose the money. You can lose business or whatever that can happen happen to you it's time for you to move on i don't know the kind of pain you found yourself in some months ago and it has kept you bound it has kept you in a stagnant position but child of god it's time for you to move on now watch this as the children of israel left the wilderness or they left uh, um, the, the 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 country of egypt and they got to the wilderness now they have gotten to a place whereby God is looking at them to move on. They, they must move on in life. Now, child of God, number two I want to put across, the number two point I want to put across is that life is about movement. Life is about movement. You will be moving and moving and moving until you depart this earth. As you walk the earth, you cannot, oh my God, you cannot afford to stay at one place you can't be passive about life you cannot afford to stay at one place life is about movement life is about moving from one point to the, uh, the other life is about moving from one destination to another destination and it is your movement that causes your progress the more you move the more you shift from one area or one locality or one environment or one redoubt to the next frequency that propels that 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 preconditions that talks about or that gives us the assurance that surely you will be making progress but if you tend to stay at one side or in one area especially in negative moment if you tend to stagnate in life or if you tend to mourn and cry over spilt milk or you cry over some opportunities you have lost in the past that causes you to stagnate that causes you to stay at one place and it causes you not to move forward in life not to attain to higher height now watch this. Now watch this. God himself came to Moses and spelled out certain things to him. Told him that, tell my people that 
It's time for them to move on. They have stayed on this mountain for far too long. Child of God, where are you staying right now? Where are you in your life right now? Where is your business right now? Are you entangled in some kind of financial difficulty? Are, are you, are you, I mean, you find yourself in a situation, in a mess, whereby you think you cannot move on. You think that your end has come. Child of God, I have the word of God for you tonight. That it's time to move on. If you have mourned, it is good. You have mourned enough. You must move on. Now, after that battle, you must move on. After that predicament, you must move on. After that misfortune, you must move on. After that challenge, you must move on. Now, when David killed Goliath, they did not stay there. But the children of God moved on. So, child of God, whatever that has ever come your way, whatever that you find yourself in, it, it might not be good. It might not look nice. But, child of God, you need not to stagnate. If you stagnate in life, you cannot progress in life. So, child of God, I'm here tonight to speak into your life that the anointing of God is coming upon you that where you find yourself is not where God has predestined you to be and child of God you must move on if you don't move you will be removed me do go vita yada. If you don't move on, you will be removed. Now to be removed is to be what disposed or to be what uh, um, taken out of your original position. So you must learn to move on. Hallelujah. So as God came to Moses, God told Moses that Moses, tell my people that they have stayed on this mountain for far too long. Child of God, you've been weeping over that lost opportunity for far too long. You've been weeping over that lost moment for far too long. Yes, you were kicked out of that company. Yes, we know that. But Time has come for you to move on. Time has come for you to move on. You cannot mourn for the rest of your life. Now, over here in Africa, I mean, in Ghana to be precise, if a woman loses their husband, I mean, becomes a widow or a widower, now, they have a mourning period for the woman. Me, Lord, go vida du shepherd. La grusco vina, le grudu fita, le givizu pradimi shoto. Now, if that woman mourns the husband, there is a period for the woman to mourn the husband. So, in Africa, to be precise, the woman will wear blood for a period of month for, for a specific time frame. But it will come to a point that that woman must take off the mourning cloth, the blood cloth. Oh my God, and put on white or can put on any other color that she wants to put on. So it means that what is this standing for? It signifies that there is a time for mourning and there is a time to be joyful. Now, Bible says that weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Child of God, I'm here tonight with the word of God in my mouth, in the volumes of the book, with the angels of God backing me and with the spirit of the Lord that resides in me. I came tonight to speak into you your life that you've been mourning for far too long you've been crying over that husband that left you with that two children and you've been crying that why did my husband leave me why did my wife leave me alone child of god your wife is gone the earlier you live with the realities of where you find yourself the better for you and the earlier you take a decision to move on the better for you and for all of us if you don't learn to move on you will be stagnating and you'll be stagnant in your life and there will be no progress and there will be no success and you cannot attain higher height. I speak into your spirit tonight that anything that has held you bound, anything that has made you to lose focus, that you think that your end has come, that you think that you cannot move forward. I came tonight to speak into your life. I don't know about you, but God said it is time to move on. It is time to move on. You must keep moving. You must keep moving. You must keep pushing. You must keep pushing until you get to your destination and I see an anointing coming over your life. I see the hand of God coming over your life. It will equip you. It will energize you and it will catapult you. Your dream is ahead of you, not behind you. Thank God for the past. Thank God for what you lost in time past. Thank God for that lady who left your life. Thank God for that man who left you at the altar. But it's time that you brace yourself. It's time that you put yourself together and and tell yourself, encourage yourself in the Lord that it's time that I move on. I lost that business in time past. I lost that money in time past. But it's about time that I move on. It's about time that I focus on to the future. 
the other day paul said something he said thank god for the past but i don't live in the past one thing that i do i let go of the past i let go of the past and i focus on to the higher calling i focus on to the future child of god it is Deathful, detrimental, it is dangerous that God is already in your future and you will be in your past. Let me say that again. Now watch this. As God came on the scene and was talking to Moses, child of God, God told Moses that tell the people that they have stayed on this mountain for far too long. Now sometimes you don't only stay with uh, negativity. There are times that you get blessings upon blessings. And there are some of the blessings, if you are not careful, it will cause you to stagnate. It is not only negativity that we stay in. It is not only bad situations that keeps us down. But there are times that God can give you what? Good glories, good opportunities. God can give you victory. Now imagine if David killed Goliath and stayed in that arena of glory or that arena of praise and victory, he wouldn't have gotten to the next level of victory. So there are times that, oh my God, Ludivico Shapa. There are times that, oh my God, there are times that God will grant you blessings. There are times that you will get a big jackpot. I mean, you hit a big jackpot. There are times that your blessing, I mean, there are times that you will sell, you will make profit in your business but that should not deter you that should not make you stagnate in that blessing there is a higher calling there is a higher prosperity ahead of you there is a higher glory ahead of you i remember back in college when we go out to minister to people and win souls for christ uh, if we get one soul a day we get so joyful and so excited but the holy spirit will tell me that son you have got one soul for me today but fight on press on and get more souls hallelujah so, so there are more blessings in store for you and you need not to stagnate in either positivity or negativity. Don't become, I mean, don't, don't, don't live too much in glory, in happiness to the, 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 the benefits and the blessings you see today. Else, it will stop you from reaching the higher calling of God. There are good things in store for us. Now, where you find yourself right now, being it a good bl blessing, being it uh, your business booming or something, my God, you, your, your human mind cannot fathom the level at which God is taking you to. God says that these are the little beginnings. I mean, these are small things compared to the bigger ones that I'm about to do for you. Child of God, don't stagnate. Don't stay at where you are. Don't stay on that mountain. Don't stay in that divorce. Don't stay in that failure. Don't stay in that child who left you. Don't stay in that your son that died. Don't stay there. You must move on. It's time to move on. I speak to you today. You must move on. May God bless you. Go do valanamasha tokapa. Redi vigo zuro do shapaya. And God told the people that move on. And verse 7, God said, turn and take your journey. So it means that you must move. You must move. Hallelujah. Child of God, I told you that life is about movement. Life is about movement. You must keep moving and keep moving and keep moving from one area to another, one business to another, one advancement to another. Keep triumphing. You must keep moving until you get to your promised land. And I can assure you with the word of God that as you keep moving and as God guides you, you follow the leadings of God and keep moving, you will surely get to your destination. Mando govorodo shabri divikota. Zele, 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 guru do shoprodo, rada da 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 da, ronde bisi, radu sheprede, rada da da, loko borodo bo, shende geve roskuba, rede de de, rada da da, mazuko borana mashata, keep moving, keep moving, mazuro koposha, rendu zundo rododo bo, zaratapa, oh yes lord, yes lord, keep moving, migo rodo shipa, Salando rododo zaribikita jerede 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 keep moving child of God don't stay at one place you you might start it you might maybe you you started your ministry. Uh, at one level in an area and then the community ganked up at you that you shouldn't do ministry there child of god don't look at them don't look at them you you can move to another location and continue your ministry over hallelujah do velekebo you must keep you must keep moving god told the people he said you have stayed on mount horror for far too long some of us we have stayed in a particular place for far too long some of you 
maybe you are a tenant watching me right now maybe you are renting an apartment god is looking forward god is already me go do shepherd god is already in your place of purpose your land your building the project where you will build for yourself and for your family but you are stagnating you are still in the rented apartment if you can lift up your eyes and put your faith in god and look into the promises of god and trust god by prayer by fasting and following the principles of god i see you getting to your own house in the name of jesus maybe you have started a business it's quite too young god is calling you to the deep God is calling you to the deep that you should move on. Don't stay in this level for far too long. Man, do grab up. You must keep moving, my God. Keep moving, my God. I speak into your spirit. Any demon that is causing you to stagnate, I speak and condemn that demon. I cast that demon off you. Any spell of fear, any spell of doubt that has been casted on you, that is making you think that you cannot get to your promised land, that it is, is causing your present predicament. Now, child of God, there are some predicaments. Predicaments only come to put us in what? In bondage. But child of God, the bondage is broken. Get up and start that ministry now. Get up and write that application now. Get up and go and kill that giant Goliath now. For God is waiting you to come to the mountain top. Some of you, you are in the valley and God is telling me to tell you that come up to the mountain top. Some of you, you've been in the valley, you've been in the room for far too long. Come out and exhibit your talent. Come out and exhibit your talent. Move to that company and ask for that job. Check and, and exercise the favor of God that is upon you. I don't know about you, but where you find yourself right now is not where God wants to take you. Keep moving until you get to your destination. Oh, Ligava, Lino Shapa. I literally feel the anointing of God right now. Migoro. I feel the, the, the next level anointing right now. Mando Guvala do Shepherde. I pray for you tonight. Ah, your business, Milo Guvala Namashata. Now your store, your business center is one, but I see as you are moving, as you are going to check another community to start another business, I see the Lord moving with you. Moli givido je la kufiteya, beli suku brudu shapa, moro duku valende zikifia. Let me give you some points, mi dogo shipa. If you want to keep moving, you want to get to your destination, if you want to get to your successful land, your promised land, your land of Canaan, number one, you must make a decision to move on. You must make a decision to move on. You must take that bold decision to move on. A lot of people have not taken the decision to move on. They are still crying over spilt milk. You are still crying over that your woman that left you. You are still crying over that job that you lost. And that is the more reason why you are not making progress. But child of God, enough is enough. Enough of the crying over yesterday's incident. Enough of the crying of the money you lost yesterday. It's time to move on. I see the hand of the Lord coming upon you, and you will move and be catapulted to the next level of glory. I see you in your Canaan land. If only you will make the decision to move, God is already in your Canaan land waiting for you. Now watch this. Me go do vada Watch this. Watch this. Verse 8. Verse 8. Deuteronomy 1, 5 to 8. Watch the verse 8. God is telling them that See, I have set the land before you. So it means that your promised land, your destiny is not behind you, it's ahead of you. So then the more you stagnate at where you are, the more you share unnecessary tears about your lost opportunity. Yes, I understand. You lost that opportunity. Yes, it was painful. I know that because personally, I've lost some opportunities in my life in some time past. But child of God, I did not let that, 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 that failure, I did not allow the failures in my life. The, come on, let me tell you something. He who has not failed before has never tried anything new. Let me say that again. He who has not failed at anything before has never tried anything new before. He who has never failed. Now, if you talk to some people, to somebody, and the person tells you that, me, I have not failed in anything before. That person is not telling you the truth. Because let me tell you something. Life is about movement. 
Life is about trying something new. Life is about starting something afresh. Life is from being taken from one point to another. So if you meet somebody who says that he or she has never failed before, it simply means that that person has not tried anything before. If you meet somebody who has not faced disappointment before, it means that that person has not moved from one point to another before. There are times that you will start some business, you will start ministry, you will start a particular project, you will invest into something, you will do a project for somebody, you will join yourself to a particular dream, you will connect yourself to a particular plan, a particular uh, vision, idea. You can fail at it, or you might fail at it, but don't let that failure keep you down. Don't let that failure put fear in you. Don't let that failure tell you that if you move on, you will not make success. Success is ahead of you. Your Cayman land is ahead of you. Your promised land is ahead of you. Don't let that past failure deter you from reaching the future glory. I see you moving. I see you moving. And I see you making progress. I see you moving. Thank you, Jesus. Personally, I have faced some challenges in my life before, in business and in ministry. I have failed at certain opportunities. I mean, I have failed at certain steps that I took in some time past. I mean, I lost some glories before. I lost some opportunities before. But child of God, the other day, David said, I will encourage myself in the Lord. As David got back to his town and then his wife and the wife of his people uh, talking about first Samuel chapter 30 uh, from verse 1 going as David they came back and, and they saw that their children, their wives and their properties were taken away Bible says that they cried and cried and cried until there was no strength to cry again but David encouraged himself in the Lord, child of God crying is okay, sharing tears over lost opportunity is okay sharing tears over everything Thing that happened to you negatively it's okay it's allowed but you are not allowed to stay on that mountain for far too long because your canaan is waiting for you your victory is ahead of you now god told the people he said see in verse 8 he said see i have set the land before you go in and possess it so number one i said if you want to make success or you want to make progress in life, if you don't want to stay at one place, whether good place or bad place, my God, see, in Africa, when we grow up or in parts of the world, when you grow up in your parents' house, it gets to a point, your parents don't even expect you to stay with them forever. They expect you to separate yourself uh, onto the deep. You understand? It, uh, you, have, you must separate yourself, uh, rent your own apartment and start that life as a man or as a woman so life is about movement life is about shifting life is about leaving one point to another and god guiding you but if you want to move or if you want to make success or make name all these famous people that you have heard their name being men of god women of god business advocates uh, entrepreneurs uh, music giants my god Lou Divikaba, all of them took a decision to move they took a decision to move. I know a lot of people that started in, uh, uh, in the village. They, they, they never went to school. My God, back here in Africa, there are a lot of people that couldn't get the opportunity to be educated by their parents. But over there in the village, over there in obscurity, over there in pain, over there in that poverty, that abject poverty, they made a decision. They took the decision to move into the city or to move into another town or to move into another country. Maybe you were in Africa a year ago, but by God's grace, you made the decision to move into Canada, to move into Dubai, to move into australia and that is how life is supposed to be you must make a move and first of all it will start by you making the decision to move on take the decision to move on right now don't stay at where you are the past failure don't look at it don't stay there make a decision to move on number two as you make a decision to move on now, let me tell you something. The devil will always be happy with you when you stagnate or you are stagnant or you are limited. You stay at one place. The devil is even happy when you stay at one blessing. You didn't hear what I said. I said the devil is even happy when you stay at one blessing. Now, as a child of God or as a man of God, maybe you've been able to pray for somebody to be healed of HIV before. Child of God, God is telling you that move to the realm whereby you raise the dead. 
Oh, la dogi lito shapra. Hey, you will raise the dead because you must move from one level of victory to another level of victory. Now, number two, you must make a move. Number one, you make a decision to move on. You decide in your mind to move on. Now, you must be in control of your mental faculty. There are people that other people control their mind. There are people that the devil controls their mind. He tells them a lot of things and that makes them not to move on. There are times that the devil will bombard your spirit and your mind with fear that because of your past incident, you cannot move on. And if you move on, you will fall and fail. It's a lie from the pit of hell. God sent me tonight to come your way with the word of God that move on, make the decision to move on. And number two, make a move, you will not fail. Make a move, you will not fail. Have you seen a child learning how to walk before? A child will be born by the mama and then that child will grow to some point. And then that child will begin to make a move, take a step to walk. Remember, if you have seen such an, uh, um, a scenario before, you will see that the child will make the first move and fall down. But the mama or whoever is around available at that time will cheer the child up. Come, come, come. Oh Lord, digivi doro no mo shataya. I don't know where you are in your life, but God is standing at your Canaan land. God is standing at your predestined position where he wants you to be. God told Jeremiah in Jeremiah 1 5, he said, before I formed you as a black cloth in your mama's womb, I knew you, my God, and I have ordained you unto higher height. Child of God, thank God for your yesterday's glory. Thank God for the negativity of yesterday. But God sent me to tell you that it's time to move on. The deep call it unto the deep. Don't stay on mountain horror for far too long because God is is calling you on to your promised land. My God, Lugo Vuda Mashepre. Oh, my God. We are not throwing in the towel. We are not giving up because of yesterday's incident. My Lugo Vuda Mishebre di Kadua. Subrede. God bless you. God bless you. My Ladua. We are moving on. You must move on. Life is about movement. Now, you apply for that job, you apply for that position, and they turn you down. Child of God, don't give up. Make a move. Make a move. Apply for that job again. Apply for that position again. And I see the hand of God coming upon you. And this time round, you will be accepted. Oh, Lord, do me There are some doors, when you approach those doors, they will look like they will not open to you. There are some positions when you aim at it, it will look like it will not open up to you. Child of God, don't let that deter you. Don't stay in that disappointment. Don't stay in that failure, that ground of failure. Don't stay there. Make another move tomorrow, Monday. Make another move in September. Maybe you applied for a visa. Maybe you applied for a green card. Lugu Divido Yapa. And you were turned down in some time past. But I see the Lord. The Lord is speaking to me right now. Said, I should tell you, yes. apply for that job again. Apply for that visa again. Lift up your head. Now, the other day, God told me, to my, he said, lift up your head. And if only you can see If only you can see this is ahead of you. You want to be a doctor, it's ahead of you. You want to be a businessman, it's ahead of you. You want to be a man of God who affects the whole world with the gospel, it's ahead of you. So lift up your eyes and see and make a move. And back to the child issue. Of you. you will see that when the child begins to learn, I mean, begins to walk or learn how to walk. Now, that child might fall the first instance, but whoever that is around will be cheering that child up. That son, come. Kwame, come. Amma, come. Moses, come. Jacob, come. Elena, come. So, the more you are calling that child to come, the more that child gets the vigor. 
get the tenacity, get the strength to come up. So child of God, one I want you to understand is that God is standing at your promised land because he knows the end from the beginning. God is the one who starts your life and ends your life ahead of time and goes into your destiny and stands there to wait for you. So God is already on your promised land. God is already at your company, the company you want to set up, the business you want to set up. You want your business to run across the whole world. God is already waiting for you at that particular location. All he's saying to you, that child, come up. Emmanuel, come up. Lydia, come up. Mandorimi kaburimi shatobaya. Come up onto the deep. Keep moving. It's time to move on. It's time to move on. You must move on. Stop crying. You must move on. You must move on. Watch this. Oh, I feel the anointing of God. No divika. Let me give you another scripture that talks about we moving on. You must move on. Tell yourself, I will move on. Share the link with somebody and type, I will move on. I must move on. It's time to move on. Okay, number three. I said number one, you must make a decision. Take a decision to move on. Decide right now to move on. In that business, you must decide to move on. In that marriage, yes, it has gone down, but decide to move on. The marriage has gone down the drain, but move on. Your end has not come yet. So move on. Number three, maintain your vision and focus. Number three, if you want to move on in life, you must maintain your vision. Now, child of God, every believer, as you look into the word of God, now Bible says that the word of God is a mirror or it's like a mirror. So as you look into the word of God, it shows you the picture of yourself. Now, when you pick a mirror right now, and you watch yourself, you will see yourself, right? So now the word of God is the manual for life, manual for our lives. So as you look into the word of God, you must see yourself in the word of God. And the word of God gives you focus and gives you vision. Now, if you tend to look at the mistakes of yesterday, the negativities, the, the challenges, the memory, the complaint, the financial hardship, things that tells you that you cannot move on, everything points that that business cannot come together, everything shows that you cannot start that project, but you need to shift your focus from all those negativity and focus on your vision. What do you want to do? Let your, your focus be on your vision. And that will propel you, that will strengthen you to move on. So you must maintain your vision. Don't let anything distract you. I use the word maintain because there are times that situations will distract us. Things will distract us. Poverty can distract you. Insults can distract you. A criticization can distract you. But you must maintain your vision and focus. What is the reason? What is the purpose for you starting that business? What is the focus? What did God show you? And that is what you must maintain. You must print the word of God in your mind. You must print your vision in your mind that nothing will deter you. Now, if you have the word of God, you print your destiny, whatever God showed you. There are times that most of the times when God calls us, when you become born again, as you study God's word, God shows you, gives you a mental picture, a spiritual insight. God gives you vision of where he wants to take you. Are we, are we together? So as God shows you the vision, the reason why he created you, you must maintain that vision. You must maintain your focus on that vision. Don't let anything distract you. Are we together? God bless you. Number four, you must meditate on God's word and his promises. You must meditate on God's word and his promises. If you want to make success, if you want to hit the ground, if you want to uh, uh, hit success, if you want to make uh, uh, progress, you want to get forward in life, you, you want to accomplish results, tremendous, remarkable, undeniable results, you must what? Meditate on God's word and his promises. There are a lot of promises that are in the word of God, or there are a lot of promises that God has given to you, a lot of prophecies that God has given to you. Always be guided and let your mind be on what? The promises of God. Let it be on it. You must meditate upon them. 
God has told me that I am more than a conqueror. And that is what my mind is on. God says that he will take me to the ends of the world. God says that he will bless me. And that is what my mind is on. Hallelujah. Number five, make time to pray. Make time to pray. There are times that you will feel weak. You don't feel like moving on. You don't feel like accomplishing your dream. You don't feel like uh, still being with your husband. The devil will be talking to you, giving you all infiltrations and, and telling you a whole lot of negativity and telling you to leave your husband. You must make time to pray. Prayer is a tool and it works. Prayer is a daily necessity for daily triumph. So you must also make time to pray because Bible says that by strength shall no man prevail. So make time to pray. So let me go quickly, go over the points again. Number one, make a decision to move on. Take that bold decision to move on. Number two, make a move. When you take the decision, don't stay in your situation. Don't stay at where you find yourself. Don't stay at that level of the business. When you make that decision that you want to move on, you must make a move, make a move, make a move. Step out of your comfort zone. Oh my God. You must make a move. You must make a move. In the name of Jesus, you must make a move. You must apply for that job, apply for that visa. I mean, apply for that position. You must make a move. Then number three, you must maintain or maintain your vision and focus. Number four, you must meditate on God's word and his promises because that will keep you going. Remember the children of the Israelites. It is the promises of God that Moses kept on reminding them, reminding them, reminding them. So you must always remind us of yourself of the promises of God. God has given you a lot of promises. Personally, I have lost some, some valuable things in my life in the name of Jesus. But I have always learned to always make the decision, make a move. I don't allow situations to put me down. I make a move. If today you, 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 you open the shop and people don't buy, tomorrow still open the shop because you must make a move. Then number five, make time to pray. Make time to pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Make time to pray. May the Lord bless you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Can I pray for you? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm out of time. I'm not out of work, but I'm out of time. Hallelujah. Thank you. I trust that the word of God has impacted you, has blessed you. Um, you can still go back to the video and watch it. Share the link with somebody to bless someone else. Hallelujah. Share the link with somebody in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Can I pray with you? Oh God, Mando Rodu Zarone Meshekro di Bazundi Livi Kapa. Oh Zarakata. Beji Falakundi Vito Spiritita. Rezuronimiko Shapradaya. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus, Spirit of the living God. I commit to each and everyone that is under the sound of my voice, that is watching me right now, even those that will watch later. Father, I pray for as many that will come across this video on the internet, on, on social media, in the name of Jesus, on TV, wherever. I pray in the name of Jesus. Father, anyone that is stagnating anyone that is stuck in one area of their life wherever they are in the name of jesus and they can't find the strength of god to move on father i pray the lord your spirit let your spirit catapult them from the level where they find themselves to the next level that they ought to be in the name of jesus father anyone that is bound by fear anyone that is bound by anger anyone that is bound by calamity anyone that any power is holding you down i pray right now let the power of god set you free from that fear from that calamity from that pain from that anxiety in the name of jesus father anyone that is feeling like not moving on with the business not moving on with the gospel not moving on in that marriage not going on not yielding to the fruit and the callings of god father right now i pray in the name of jesus let your mighty hand come upon them father as you told the israelites to keep moving i pray the lord may you speak to them right now to keep moving in jesus name father any power that we need to move on. I pray in the name of Jesus. May they receive that strength. May they receive that power in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I continue to pray. Anyone that needs money to move on, I pray the Lord, may you meet them with money. Father, may you supply their needs according to your riches in glory in Christ Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. I give you glory. I thank you. I give you glory. 
in the name of Jesus. Anyone that fear is holding you bound, you are set loose. You are set loose right now. You are loose from that fear. Move on now. Move on now. I speak into your spirit. Move on now. Anything that is holding you bound, right now be loose be loose i set you free anything that is dominating your mind that is causing you to weep for almost a year now i cause you to be loose right now i speak to you to be loose right now in the name of jesus any calamity that has befallen you that is making you weep that is making you stay and stagnate at one place may that calamity be lifted off your head may that calamity be lifted off your family in the name of jesus Thank you, Jesus. Father, I pray for as many, oh God, right now, my, my people right now, my viewers right now, Lord, I pray that anyone that we must encounter that will prepare us to move to the next level of glory, I pray that may we encounter those people in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, I pray for that woman who wants to leave the marriage right now. I pray in the name of Jesus. Father, may they find a new joy, new joy in that marriage in Jesus' name. Father, may they find the strength to move on in that marriage in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I glorify you. Father, whoever that is bound by sickness, I set you loose right now. Be loose from that sickness. Be loose from that infirmity. Be healed in Jesus' name. Anything that is holding you bound, that is making you stagnate, stay at one place. Be loose right now. Be loose in your spirit. Be loose in your mind in Jesus' name. Be loose in your soul in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, we thank you. Glory, glory, glory. Can you shout amen, somebody? Can you shout amen? Thank you, Jesus. Lord, do give up. You are free to move on. Child of God, it's time to move on. It's time to move on. Don't throw in the towel. Don't give up yet. Move on. Move on. It can be bad. The situation can be bad, but move on. Whatever, whatever, you must move on. Move on, okay? Move on. God is with you. He's already waiting for you at your, 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 your Canaan land. God is waiting for you. All you need to do is to move on. Child of God, make a decision to move on. And God is meeting you at your new level in the name of Jesus. Uh, it's because you've been staying at one place. It's because you have not learned to move on. It's because you, have not, you are not a, a monument. Oh, my God. Come on, come on. Every believer is not a monument. My God, you must move. You are not a monument. You must move. You are a moving machine. Tell yourself, I'm a moving machine. Oh, guided by the Holy Spirit. So keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. It's time to move on. Don't give up. Keep moving. You will not fall. Just like a child who is learning how to walk. Even if you fall, get up and keep moving. Get up and keep moving. Get up and keep moving. You will get to your destination. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be unto Jesus. I trust that this word has blessed your life. In case you are watching right now, <laughs> oh, my sister Chantel, all the way, I think, from Namibia, may the Lord bless you. Apostle Nyaku, may the Lord bless you. Share the link in the name of Jesus. My good friend, woman of God, Lydia Delphine, may the Lord bless you. My good brother, Elikem. My elder brother, Elikem, may the Lord bless you. Share the link with somebody. Oh, my good friend, my good friend. I see my good friend, Emmanuel Bagidi, my good friend, my, 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 my mate at the university. God bless you, Emmanuel. God bless you. Wow, it's a joy to see you. Wow, Malodu Shipraha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Share the link. Share the link to bless somebody. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, Mr. Prince Ewuzi, may the Lord bless you. Keep moving. Mr. Prince, the Lord said I should tell you, whatever you have been through in the past cannot be compared to the glory that is ahead of you. So keep moving, Mr. Prince Ewuzi. God bless you. I see my good lady, Matilda Yankee, all the way from Ghana. God bless you in the name of Jesus. So we keep moving, keep moving. Okay, so you keep sharing as well. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm out of time. I'm not out of work. May the Lord bless you. Thank you, Jesus. May the Lord bless you. Now, tomorrow is Monday. I'll see you uh, 
a blissful hour. That is our midnight prophetic prayers. I will see you command your day tomorrow, 12 a.m. sharp. I, I will come your way. I will host you and we will pray prophetic strategic prayers, prayers that will cause changes in your life. So make a date with me. The same channel, um, Facebook, Bright Dark Olabi, YouTube, Bright Dark Olabi, Twitter, Bright Dark Olabi. Connect with me, connect with me, and I know that your life will never be the same. So tomorrow, 12 a.m. sharp. Tomorrow, 12 a.m. GMT. I'll come your way with midnight prophetic cry. Hallelujah. Child of God, I want to take this opportunity to specially invite you uh, into the month of September. Now, by God's grace, God has... Uh, whispered to my ears, my spirit, that the month of September will be uh, the month that impossibilities will become possible. So in the month of September, it's our month of impossibilities becoming possible. Hallelujah. I'm excited. Hallelujah. So it will be a month of impossibilities becoming possible. I don't know what you call impossible in your life, but get ready. Brace yourself that in the month of September, oh, as we journey through that month, every impossibility in your life will become possible in the name of Jesus. So watch with me in the month of September. Uh, throughout the four Sundays in the month of September, I have my good friend, Faith Lugalia, all the way from Kansas, uh, uh, United States of America. She will come your way with the word of God in the month of September. Uh, I have Apostle Rich Love Taylor. Oh my God, need those Zucra. I have great man of God coming your way with the word of God. Uh, I have uh, Prophet Raymond coming our way in the month of September. It will be a serious month, hallelujah. And then the last Friday of September, we'll be hosting breakthrough all night. My God, in the month of September, the last Friday, we'll be having a breakthrough all night. My God, you cannot miss it for anything. So you check my page and follow uh, 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 the flyers and follow the information over there. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. My God, may the Lord bless you. So tomorrow, I'll be coming your way. Midnight prophetic prayers. And then Wednesday as well. Hallelujah. And then on Sunday, that is September, we start our month of impossibilities becoming possible. Check the flyers for more details. God bless you. You keep moving. You will not fall. You will not fail. Keep moving. I will come your way again on Monday, tomorrow, 12 a.m. GMT. God bless you. Thanks for coming on board. Share the link to bless somebody in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hello, son. Come. Bye-bye. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks for coming on board. Shalom, shalom. We love you. We love you. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Son, just wave on to them. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We love you. Bye-bye. God bless you. Come on. Keep moving. Keep moving. You will not fail. Keep moving. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. Share the link. Share the link to bless someone. Yeah, see you again. Share the link. Share the link. Release your comments. Send your prayer requests as well. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. This has been blissful word. Blissful word. God bless you. Bye-bye. We are excited for the month of September. Oh, God. Mandu Kadushata.